Hi everyone, so in this video today we're going to take a look at how we can import a pixel art texture into a 3D model and then import it into Godot. I'm making this video partly for myself because uh, I thought that was was something that should be simple actually was having a certain number of steps and there was absolutely no uh, literature, no tutorial about this. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make a video like this for people so you avoid spending three hours like I did right now to uh, to try to deep dive into this thing. So the, the first thing to do is uh, what you see on the screen is uh, globally my uh, tile set for my uh, Steam game Lone Knight. And I was looking to make some, some little test. I was looking to see uh, to potentially import some part of my game into a 3D world in Godot. And so for that, I was looking to create a cube that hold the texture of uh, the, the ground of my game. And so I've made uh, that, uh, that texture for the top and I have that texture for the side. And uh, in Blender, I was looking to import that. So the, I'm going to show you how I've done. So I'm going to go here on general, I'm going to take on the cube, I'm going to delete it because apparently there is like some, uh, if you use that cube, there is like some information that uh, that are not good, that uh, keeps there, so that's not good. I'm going to take also the camera, I'm going to delete it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add, mesh, and I'm going to add a cube. That cube, I need to go in edit mode, so I, I click tab for that, and then I go on U, and then I go here, smart UV project, and I unwrap. So now what I need to do is I need to go to the shading tab and here I need to take, I need to uh, create like a uh, material for uh, the side of the cube. What I need to do, I'm going to go back to layout. It's going to be a bit more simple. I'm going to go here to material and I'm going to go here to new. Uh, that material 001, I'm going to rename it top underscore cube. Then I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to click here on the plus and I'm going to click new. And that material 001, I'm going to call it side underscore cube. And then lastly, same thing, plus, and then new. And then here that material, I'm going to call it bottom underscore cube. So now I can go to my shading. And in my shading, I have my, uh, I have everything. So I'm going to go back to top cube first. And here I want to import uh, my uh, texture. So for that, I have my texture already open here. So I have like texture one, so I can just drag it and it's going to import my texture. I'm going to go here to linear and I'm going to uh, change it. I'm going to put closest. And so now the only thing that I need to do is I need to take my color and put it on my base color. You can see that it put everything everywhere. So that's not automatically what I want. What I want here is I want to select the top uh, face and I want to assign that texture. So I'm going to go here at the top. You can see edit mode right here. I'm going to go here to face, select, and I'm going to pick this one. With this one selected, uh, I'm going to go, uh, where is it? Here on material, just right here. You can see my top cube is selected and I'm going to assign it like this. So now it assigned that to that. And so now I can do the same thing for, for here. Here I'm going to just select that face, select that face by maintaining shift and clicking. Then I'm going to uh, rotate by uh, clicking on my mouse wheel and I'm going to shift uh, left click, mouse wheel, shift left click. Uh, and so now I have selected those face and here what I need to do is I need to go to the slot 2 which is my side cube and here I select normally automatically my side cube and here I needed to uh, assign my texture. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take my texture and I'm going to drag it here. And I'm going to do the same thing. So here I'm going to change from linear to closest and I'm going to collect the color to base color. And so now with my side cube here I can assign. And you can see it assigned my cube. But you can see that it's not it's not exactly what is supposed to, to happen here. You can see my texture is different. I'm going to show you what's going on. Uh, we're going to do the bottom cube uh, for the last part. So the bottom cube, we don't need to import an image. The only thing that we need to do is to select the color that we have on the texture. So here with my bottom cube selected, I go here to base color, base color, voila, up, and I go here to the little uh, color picker, and I come here, and I select that, and it, uh, it selects my color. Maybe even, let's see, this one here. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, so that's it. And now that bottom cube is done. That's cool. Okay, perfect. So I can just come here. I can select that. I can take my bottom cube and I can assign. And so now we're good. So now uh, we have the problem of the pixel art to fix. So the uh, the pixel art texture here, you can see that uh, it's weirdly scaled. And this is because if you go to the UV editing, uh, if you select a side, so here I'm going to select the, the top side, you can see that my... Uh, my uh, my texture is only selected on that part. So here what you need to do, uh, if, if I remember well, you select that, 
U, and you go to Cube Projection. Voilà, that's the one. And Cube Projection gonna select everything. So now you can go back to, for example, either like a shading, or you can also go here, like you just need to drag down, and you can come here and put texture, and you can see that now the texture is applied perfectly. So now we need to do the same for here. So we need to do the same here, so I can select that, I can select that, I can select that. I've actually, this one, I think I need to select it independently, so I'm, I'm going to select it independently. So uh, I'm selecting that, being on edit mode, being on face mode, and I'm selecting one by one. Uh, once it's selected, I go to U and Q projection, and you can see that now it works. U, Q projection, U, Q projection, and U, Q projection. Voilà, perfect. So now I have globally my pixel art uh, thing that is going on well. Here I'm going back to, to layout, I'm going here to the little uh, uh, down arrow, and I go to texture, and I can see my... Uh, my stuff well perfect uh, the light i'm gonna delete it uh, the light i don't need it and what i want to do now is i want to export so i'm gonna export that as a fbx file so i'm gonna go here to file i'm gonna go here to export and i'm gonna go here to fbx now i'm gonna go to my folder which is i'm gonna go to 3d test that's my folder and here i'm gonna uh, um, save my stuff so i'm gonna say i'm gonna call it cube test cube ground test for me yeah you need to uh, disable all of this you just need to have the, the mesh right here and you need this is very important you need to keep custom property otherwise it's not gonna uh, import well uh, in godot you're not gonna have your texture uh, for the forward you need here not to use the minus z forward you need to use the z forward this is gonna make sure that it aligns in the right direction in godot uh, apply units, so that's good. Apply transform, we can also apply the transform. Here yeah, we don't really need it, but like uh, that's something that you can do. Apply modifier, it's all right. So normally here we are good to go. So I can export my FBX and we're good. So now I go to my project. You can see here I have like some uh, scene open, like it will import everything. I'm gonna close all of this and I'm gonna create a new scene. So I'm gonna go here, new scene. And I'm gonna put a, two, a 3D scene like this. I'm gonna call it uh, cube test. Voilà. And so what I want to do here is I want to uh, get my cube ground test and I want to import it into my scene. So if I do that, you can see I come here, but you can see the pixel art is blurry and uh, this is not what I want. And I spent two hours trying to figure that out. Uh, so globally, what you need to do is uh, here with my cube ground test, so I import my uh, my ground here, you can come here, you open a new inherited scene, so you open it like this, and now you go to cube. On cube, you're gonna go here to mesh, and you're gonna open. Then after that, you're gonna go to surface zero, surface zero is the top cube, and uh, you're gonna click here on the material, and now you're gonna see that the material, uh, it is, you can change uh, the, the blurriness of the material into hair sampling, but it is grayed out. So the solution for that is to come back to the material that you have right here. And normally you should have a little arrow here, but you don't have it. Because first you need to go to the mesh right here. You need to click on the arrow and you need to come here on make unique. You click on make unique, you reload everything. And now if you go to surface zero, you can see that here you have also that little arrow. If you click on that little arrow, you, click, you can click on make unique. And then if you go back to the sampling uh, thing here, now you have a linear mid map. And so you can click on that and change it to nearest. And now you have a, a crisp uh, pixel art type look. And you just need to repeat that process for the rest. So I'm gonna do it for the surface zero. I'm gonna come here, make unique. I can come here and now I can go to my sampling linear bitmap nearest and then I can just like see my cube going on here. Perfect. So now I can save that cube and I'm gonna oops, save it like this. I'm gonna call it uh, yeah cube, cube ground test. So that's gonna be all right. And so now I can go back to my main scene. I can delete that cube. No need it. Uh, and now I can just import my cube and I'm good to go. And so now the thing that I need to do is just on my cube test uh, scene right here, I just need to attach a camera 3D. So you can see it in uh, the, uh, you can see, uh, let's see, where is it? Ah, it's right there, 
Voilà. So I'm, I'm making here a little bit of a adjustment. Ah, voilà, like this. Uh, do some, I'm going to do something like this just so you can see and I'm going to just take my cube ground and I'm just going to duplicate it uh, like this I'm going to do something like this I'm going to do something like just something like that you know so voilà. and so now if I launch uh, my game I just need to save my scene so I'm going to save it and stuff so cube test scene now if I launch it I, ah oui, <laughs> I forgot the light. Uh, so I need to come with my camera selected. I need to come here, add sun to scene, and here, add environment to scene. And so now, with that selected, we have crisp pixel art apply on 3D object. And you can use that, for example, for like applying texture for like houses or whatever. And that's good. And I make this video because there were nothing on this. Absolutely nothing. Everyone was like, just like, creating like video that was making no sense that was not applied to to, to what i was looking to do so uh, i hope it has been helpful for the people that watch that and like maybe were like oh my god that's what i want to do so i hope it has been helpful for you if it's the case but don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe you can also okay, go and check my game lone night on steam and you can wishlist it and me i want to thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye